Everything Dinosaur, in collaboration with our chums at Collector, has recently announced the first of the new for 2024 Collector prehistoric animal models. It's a pterosaur, the recently described Jark Skianark. Now you may have seen an image of this new figure, but wouldn't it be great if we could show you a production prototype? Stick around, we'll tell you more. Hi, Everything Dinosaur here, and in today's video we'll be talking about the first of the new for 2024 collector prehistoric animal models, the pterosaur Jark Skianark, and here is one of the prototype replicas of this figure. Now the first point to make is don't panic. Now the actual model will be in one to three scale. This is a prototype and it's not in scale. The real figure when it goes into production will be around 39 centimeters long and the left wing tip will be around 15.5 centimeters off the ground. So this is just one of the prototype figures and it's not giving you an impression of the size of the model. This is not a scale figure. We'll talk a little bit more about this model and the science behind this amazing pterosaur very shortly. So, after the obligatory reminder about subscribing, we'll crack on. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification button to be part of the conversation. Now the first thing I want to say is to talk about the coloration of this figure. It's got a, a bright yellow cap and a wonderfully coloured underside uh, markings on its uh, rostrum, the mandible, and it's very reminiscent of an extent animal known from the Isle of Skye, the northern gannet. Now the northern gannet is an animal which is synonymous with the Isle of Skye and the one fossil specimen of this pterosaur that was also found on the Isle of Skye. And I like the idea that collector are trying to connect an extinct pterosaur with an extent living bird because both Jark and the Northern Gannet probably filled the same position in the ecosystem. Although in the pterosaur's case that was 170 million years ago. The coloration also reflects the flag of the Isle of Skye. If you look carefully there's a white circle round the eye and there's a white circle on the flag of the Isle of Skye. There's also blue and white, and we see blue and white on the vein at the end of the tail. It's also uh, the same colours as the flag of Scotland. So I love the way that Collector have used some visual cues from the uh, Scotland and from the Isle of Skye in the coloration of this pterosaur. That's a lovely touch. Now, just like the living northern gannet, this pterosaur probably lived in flocks and it may have been a bit of a bully, um, pursuing other pterosaurs and robbing them of their food, behaviour seen in animals like the northern gannet today. Now, the teeth are quite remarkable on this pterosaur. They are fanged, they are pointed, and unfortunately my prototypes lost a few teeth in transit to me but you get an idea of the dentition of this uh, formidable hunter. And if they lived in flocks, there may have been quite a bit of intraspecific competition. The animals may have quarreled with each other and fought, and the pterosaur model from Collector will have a small nick in the vein at the end of its tail. A kind of a nod to the fact that this animal may have been bitten by a rival perhaps over a fight for a mate, a fight over roosting space, or perhaps just basically a fight uh, for some food. It's again a nice little detail in a wonderful collector figure. So let's give you an idea about the actual size of the collector production model. Like I said earlier, this is a pre-production prototype. Now, the actual figure will be approximately 
this size. About 39 centimetres long and with the left wing tip about 15 and a half centimetres off the ground. An approximate one to three scale version of Jacques Ski and Arc. And if I can show you the tail vane up against my Everything Dinosaur sweatshirt, you should see that nick in the top. Indication of intraspecific competition between two pterosaurs. So, if you want an idea of just how big this figure is, that's the 3D version, a 3D print from the STL files. It gives you a rough approximation of the size of the production model. The spectacular single specimen was discovered by University of Edinburgh PhD student Amelia Penny during a 2017 field trip to Brothers Point on the Isle of Skye. The field team was exploring the Middle Jurassic Leet Shale formation when the pterosaur fossil was spotted on the beach. A battle against time and tide followed and with great care the four pieces of rock containing the flying reptile remains were recovered. Jark Skianark was formally described in 2022 by Yigelska et al. It is a Ramphorinkid and with an estimated wingspan of around 2.5 metres, one of the largest pterosaurs known from the Jurassic. Jark's discovery proves that supersized flying reptiles were not confined to the Cretaceous. Jark also demonstrates that pterosaurs during the Middle Jurassic were capable of reaching sizes comparable to the largest volant birds alive today. A close view of the head of the 2024 Collector Deluxe Jark figure shows the different types of teeth associated with this pterosaur. There were long fangs in the anterior portion of the jaw, with more conical, peg-like teeth towards the back of the mouth. The lines on the tip of the mandible might mark the location of the ramphafica, the outer surface of the beak that was covered in a thin sheath of keratin. It is one of several little details on this model that make it an exceptional figure. The colour scheme was inspired by the plumage of an adult northern gannet. The northern gannet is common on the Isle of Skye. However, the Jark Skianark specimen is believed to represent a sub-adult, a pterosaur that was not yet fully grown. The extant northern gannet, primarily a piscivore, probably occupies the same niche in the marine ecosystem as Ramphorhynchids like Jark Skianark did in the Middle Jurassic. The images provided by Collector show that the pteroid bones on the wing have been painted black. We have been assured by the manufacturer that the finished figures will not have this, that the pteroid bone will be painted the same colour as the rest of the wing. When the official collector image of Jark was released, the angle of the model obscured the presence of the uropatatia. These are membranes running down the hind limbs that associate with the fifth toe on each foot. Images sent to everything dinosaur by collector indicate that the fifth toe is indeed associated with a Europatagium. This is an excellent one to three scale Jark Skianark figure, one that will be in stock at everything dinosaur in early 2024. That's the first of the new for 2024 collector prehistoric animal models introduced. Now we think Jark Skianark is going to be available from Everything Dinosaur sometime early in 2024, perhaps around March. We don't know for certain at this stage, however we promise to keep dinosaur model collectors and pterosaur fans up to date via our social media posts. So, Sometime in 2024, Collector will be introducing a new deluxe pterosaur figure. Now the company has built up a strong reputation 
having introduced a number of deluxe pterosaur models, the likes of Dimorphodon, Guidraco, Trinodon longiceps, and Trinodon sternbergi. Which brings me to this. Our question of the day. What other pterosaur would you like collector to make a model of? Let us know your views in the comment section down below and we'll pass the feedback on to our friends at Collector. So there you have it, our lowdown on the first of the new Collector prehistoric animal models for 2024. In about a week's time, we'll post up a second video in this series, introducing the second batch of figures to be announced by Collector. Everything Dinosaur continues to post up information about new figure introductions and you can follow us on our social media such as Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We'll also put a link to the Collector Deluxe Prehistoric Life range and the Not to Scale Collector range in the video description down below. So if you want you can pick up a model or two having perused the ranges. In addition, we'll put a link to our blog post, which we posted up a little while ago, introducing the Jark Ski and Arc model. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this short video and you found it informative. And I look forward to talking about more new collector figures in the very near future. So, on that note, I'll say one more thing. Thank you.